First, we're going to start with a medium onion about, about this size here, and we're going to dice it up and about three quarters of it we're going to use. The rest you could use for something else. And then we're going to go ahead and put some olive oil in our pan here. Make sure you preheat the pan. And then, of course, add your three quarters of a diced onion. And what we're going to do is go ahead and get that just sauteed a bit. We're going to cook it so it's uh, not brown or anything, but it's just sweated a bit. That's all you need to do, just get it a little bit sweated. And uh, once we got that all mixed together and sweated, the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and add a 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes. This recipe is very simple. Anybody can do it. Once you've added those uh, diced tomatoes, just go ahead and get them mixed together a little bit. And then go ahead and add two 15 ounce cans of black beans. You can add regular pinto beans if you'd like, but uh, I like to add the black beans. And of course, one 15 ounce can of kidney beans. Get that all mixed together. And uh, add one teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of cumin. A quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Two tablespoons of chili powder. We're gonna get quite a bit of this in there. That's what's gonna give it that chili flavor. A bit of Tabasco sauce. I just like a little, you know, a little vinegar, a little vinegary, you know, bite to it. Adds a little more uh, depth. Uh, go ahead and ask to add two cups of water. What we're going to do is we're going to get this all boiled together and it's going to reduce. So you're going to mix it all together and bring it to a quick boil. And once you get it to a boil, you're going to bring it down to a simmer. It's going to look like that. Once you get it down to a simmer here, you're just going to keep mixing it every uh, so often so it doesn't stick or burn. It'll probably take about maybe an hour and a half to two hours for it to completely come down. But it'll, be, it'll get thicker and thicker. And then it'll get even thicker and you'll see it start to reduce even more. And then once you get it to your desired thickness, it'll look something like this. Everything's nicely come together. Looks just like meaty chili, doesn't it? But it's not. It's purely vegetarian chili if you want to call it that or meatless chili so easy to make really delicious you won't even know the difference i like to add a little bit of cilantro on top you can add sour cream or cheese and you are good to go easy right once again thanks for watching comment down below and like and have a wonderful day bye bye